Hi, just a quick update video on this BM036 that was returned from a customer and on uh, DC amps only, it's got an offset here. It's like actually off the scale here. I'll link in the uh, only on DC. Um, it's otherwise working. Um, and we had a look in the side and there's nothing obvious. So uh, the prevailing theory in the comments is that possibly um, this was uh, used next to a possibly for a prolonged period uh, next to a high like a really strong magnetic uh, field and of course clamp meters there <laughs> they work on magnetic fields that's why they have these laminated uh, cores inside there yeah, oh no that's just a plastic <laughs> that's just a plastic cap you can't uh, oh yeah yeah there we go can we see it can we see it there you go there's our laminated core inside there so yeah, these things, um, it's all about the magnetics. So, you know, there's a Hall effect uh, sensor at, at one end and it measures the, basically, uh, the magnetic um, field in the uh, loop here. That's why, you know, it doesn't work when you close it and <laughs> you break it and you've got to, you've got to close it like that and, uh, and you complete the uh, loop and you can measure uh, the current. That's why you have to, you know, pass wire through and eh, transformer theory, everything else, okay? Um, so, um, I apparently, like, I checked out the company that uh, bought three of these and they returned one of them uh, that has this offset here and it turns out the company does work on, like, doing custom large uh, battery packs, like up to 15 kilowatt hour stuff, like, you know, really quite sizable, like home storage size uh, battery packs and stuff like that. So, possibly... You know, um, but yeah, I don't know how much, if you know how much uh, is required to stuff up a typical clamp meter like this, like permanently magnetize the core in here, then uh, leave it in the comments. But yeah, maybe it was left next to a, like a very high current trace for quite some time or something like that. And it just magnetized the whole thing. I don't know. But yeah, apparently like it just slowly changed over time. So I've asked them that, but they haven't gotten back. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to test to see if this is magnetized. Now, uh, what I've got here, I've got a my um, uh, AIM TTI um, iProber 520 here. And this actually, as well as measuring current through uh, traces, right, you can have a wires, so it's got like a clamp meter attachment just like this, right? So you can put a wire uh, through. It's got PCB track mode, but it's also got a field mode as well. And it just gives you a DC output. I'm going to put it on uh, two hertz here, very, you know, filter out any um, high frequency magnetic crap. And uh, we're going to try it. So I've got, it's basically an output here, which you can hook up to a scope. In this case, I've hooked it up to my meter. You can see it up, well, you can see it over there. There you go. Um, and of course, th these are so sensitive. Same with these meters, right? Like, watch this, right? If I put it on the low current uh, range here, okay, put it on DC like that, then it will change value as I rotate it like this, okay? Because that's the Earth's magnetic field doing that, okay? So the Earth's magnetic field can um, screw these things up. Um, and not just this meter, any uh, clamp meter with real low current uh, capability. And that's why you uh, zero that thing, okay? So DC zero like that. So this one is a, uh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one from my stock here. And this is the faulty one. As you can see, it's showing a uh, 91 amp offset there. So something's seriously wrong. So it could be that this is permanently magnetized. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna measure it, okay? So the voltage here, you can see it. I'm pointing up to the voltage up there, okay? If I hold it steady like this and I just rotate it along that axis, you can see it changing. Okay, that's how sensitive this sucker is, right? Because I'm rotating this through the Earth's magnetic field or any other nearby magnetic field, okay? I don't think I've got anything particularly. My screwdriver magnetizes all the way over there. Uh, so, yeah, right? Anyway, so I've got to keep this in the exact orientation to try and see if we can get anything on here, okay? So, 41 here and good one here, okay? So let's do the good one as a benchmark. So I'm gonna, sorry, you can't really, you can't see this too well, but I'm gonna do the good one, okay? And I'm gonna hold it here like this, okay? So I've got it, well, I've got it on the vertical like this and I won't rotate it, I'll just bring it down, okay? And I'll go like that, okay? Let's just call that, oh, oh wow. 
I just dropped from 70 down to 20, 14, 13, 14. No, oh, am I? <laughs> am, am I moving it around? Anyway, let's stick it in there. Okay, and it doesn't. Okay, let me try a different approach. Okay, I'll go like this, and if I move it like that, okay, there's not too much of a difference. But let's open the jaws up and let's stick it in. Okay, see, you can see that it is. It has changed quite significantly, okay? It's gone from plus 50 to minus 50. So let's do that as a reference, okay? So I won't move it. I won't move it. I'll bring in the faulty one. I'll try and get it back to 50. I don't know. <laughs> it's really tricky, okay? But anyway, here you go. Baseline. I'll put that there, 30. Stick it in. Minus 100, okay? It's a, it's a bigger change but it's doing but it's changing the same way right so obviously my good one here is magnetized um you know in some way shape or form or it's you know it's concentrating the earth's magnetic field whatever i don't know <laughs> right i'm no physicist uh, magnet uh, expert right but anyway you can see no it's not there's really not much it's really not much difference like Okay, so vertical like that, stick it in. That's what she said. And I won't move it. There you go. I mean, like, if this was like hugely magnetized in some way that gave this sort of offset, I would have expected bigger than that, but I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. I'm not going to go look at, you know, um, specs for this thing and how much, you know, how many uh, Teslas it needs, how many micro Teslas, you know, it needs and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, if you want to do that sort of thing uh, in the comments, knock yourself out. But it doesn't seem to be any real major, major difference here. Um, I'm not seeing it. And the whole effect sensor that they use in here, I, I think it's actually embedded. I don't think you can see it in the uh, teardown from memory. I think it's like embedded in the, you know, in the base of this somehow, uh, or in a gap in there. Um, so yeah, I can't remember exactly, but there seems to be no no difference, right? There's no difference. I put it in this direction now instead. I had it that direction before, so there you go, and then boom, and then like that boom. Seems to be the same. So, I don't know. Maybe it could, maybe it doesn't require much, but this thing is ridiculously sensitive, as you've seen, right? Just simply rotating it like that in the Earth's magnetic field. Isn't it like, <laughs> trust me, I can get these out of here, right? And there's, there's, there's nothing around there. And the Earth's magnetic field, just me rotating that like that. It's huge, right? I can see it to <laughs> four digit resolution or something. It's crazy. Right? So, yeah. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I expected it to be drastically different, but it's not. It seems to be on par. So, there you go. I don't know. That, that could certainly be a contender. I'll see what the company uh, comes back with. I'll keep you updated in the comments down below. I don't think I'll bother doing another uh, video um, on it unless uh, something uh, drastically uh, changes. But, yeah, there you go. So, it could be a magnetic polarization thing. Oh, uh, some people ask, try a degaussing wand on this. I don't have a degaussing wand. A uh, degaussing wand is simply like a big ass uh, coil hooked up to your 240 volts or 110 if you're a yank. And, uh, and you just, uh, you know, slowly move it, uh, slowly move it in and out your object that you want to demagnetize into, into and out of the magnetic uh, field. And the alternating magnetic field, you know, 50 or 60 hertz for you yanks, um, causes, uh, co you know, and alternates the magnetic field in the material that uh, you've got. In this case, it'll be the laminated um, iron, um, you know, cores in there, and uh, or laminated steel or whatever it is they use, and uh, it will demagn, it will slowly demagnetize. So if you bring it into and out of a degaussing, a massive degaussing AC magnetic field, then it will slowly bleed the magnetic field out of these things. Um, so yeah, I don't have one, unfortunately, otherwise I would try that. So anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.